Assalamu alaikum, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great and in this video I'm gonna show you how we can create this beautiful art just using HTML and CSS and obviously accept this wolf. So without any further ado, let's get started. And to get started with this project, I have already created a project file and, and in this project folder, I have created a HTML file and image folder and in this image folder, I have that wolf image and I have a CSS folder and in this CSS folder, I have created a style.css file and that's all we need to get started with this project and I have opened that uh, project file in my ID, this is Visual Studio. If you want to use other IDs, it's totally fine. So if you guys using VS code, then you can type exclamation mark and you can hit enter that will give you a simple uh, HTML boilerplate and I'm gonna change the title to CSS vector art. And in this body, we need a parent div. So I'm gonna give it a class called base and inside this div, first of all, we have to create this mountain and to make this mountain looking thing, we have to create a div and I'm gonna give it a class called mountain so first of all let me go live with my live server extension so as we created the mountain div we have to move to the CSS folder so CSS file sorry my bad uh, I'm sorry I didn't include that CSS file in my HTML file and now let's link the CSS file with this HTML file link relationship is style sheet and let's see the SRF to CSS and style of CSS. Okay, now let's go to the style sheet and in here I'm gonna select the universal selector and I'm gonna set the margin to 0, padding to 0, 0 and box sizing border box. Okay, then secondly we have to select the base class we have created if you remember uh, the base class which is the uh, uh, parent parent div or parent class of everything so we're gonna select that and we have to give some style like we're gonna give the height to 100 view 100 base and then width is gonna be 100 percent and next thing we have to give a background and this is a gradient background so linear gradient and we're gonna set this gradient rotation to zero degree and the first color code is gonna be this and I'm gonna set this to 20% this color is gonna be 20% and second color is gonna be this and this is gonna be 50% this color is gonna be 50% and now let's hit save and let's go to the browser and as you can see we got our gradient background now let's set this position to relative and then we have to select the mountain mountain class uh, if you remember we have set this to HTML mountain mountain class we have to select this and set this position to absolute position is absolute height word is 100% height 100% with 100% so next thing we have to do is we have to uh, set a background color for this mountain so background color and we're, we're gonna give the color is this this color code now if i hit save and if i go to the browser you can notice that entire of our window is filled with that particular color we have given in the css but we are not getting that mountain looking shape so to achieve that kind of shape we have to use a property css property that's called clip path and inside this clip path we have a function called polygon so now the question is what is this polygon so basically polygon allow you to create custom shapes in CSS. So how you can create custom shapes using polygon in CSS. So polygon function take two parameter. One is X and second is Y. So in this window, this left to right is the X axis and top to bottom is the Y axis. And the left top corner, this corner is zero and zero. So X and Y is zero, zero in here. Now, if you want to go to the right, then you will increase the X. If you want to go to the bottom, you will increase the Y. Keep these things in your mind that you have to increase your X value if you want to go right. 
and you need to increase your y value if you want to go bottom and similarly if you decrease the y value then it will go to up and if you decrease the y value it will x value it will go to the left so we are going to use this functionality to create our points now what kind of points is so another thing let me tell you you can do is if you don't want to uh, understand this uh, polygon how polygons are working you can simply uh, search on google and you can find polygon path generator uh, you can use this kind of tools or you can create your custom shapes like uh, you can create your custom shapes like creating those points like this so you can create those things and in this bottom you can you can copy this and you can paste this in here so it will create that exact shape you have created on the website as you can see it's created that kind of shape but as i mentioned in my title that i'm gonna use only css so i am not gonna use that kind of tools as well so first of all we have to give a coordinate the x coordinate and the y coordinate so let's go back to the our vs code and clip path clip path polygon okay so first coordinate is we are going to give the x coordinate first of all it takes x and y so we are going to give the x coordinate is 48 percent and remember it takes value only in percent so you have to give this value in in percentage so i'm going to give it 48 percentage from the x axis so it's gonna create a point from uh, like somewhere like here in the x-axis and in the y-axis in the y-axis we're gonna take 100 percent that means at the bottom at the very bottom so it's gonna create a point somewhere like here so it will move to 48 percent in the x-axis and the 100 percent in y-axis so it will create a point somewhere like this kind of position now if i hit save you will see nothing as you can see you can see nothing because we have created only one point so you can see that you can see one point so we have to create multiple points and clip path polygon can take unlimited arguments so you don't need to worry about those arguments that how how much argument you can give you can give unlimited arguments in this clip, uh, clip path polygon so we are going to give the second argument similarly this is take y and x and y value and remember don't forget to put the, put a comma uh, after you put one x and y coordinate the second time you have to give again another x and y coordinate value and for this i'm going to move a little bit to the right and a little bit to the top so for that i'm going to give this x value to 50 percent and the y coordinates is and the y coordinate is 92 percent now it is if i hit save it's still we can see nothing we need more points so again let's give it a comma and 52 percent from the x and from the y let's say 86 percent now if i hit save you can see a thin line is being created that's mean we have created three points remember we have created three point each point contain two value one is x value and the second is y value so the first point is this this is 48 percent x 48 percent from the x value and 100 percent from the y value second point is here which is uh, 50 percent from the x value and 92 percent from y value and third point is this this is from 52 percent from the x value and 86 percent from the y value similarly we can give as many as argument we wish to so i'm gonna i'm gonna give next argument is 55 54 percent and in the y value 80 percent so if you notice that i am moving slowly i am moving by two percent from the x value because i want to create kind of a smooth kind of shape so if so as i want to create something kind of smooth line so that's why i'm moving like uh, from two percent i'm moving by two percent in the x-axis so that's the reason is i'm i want to create a smooth shape 
so i hope you already understand that what is clip path polygon is doing it's taking two arguments it's taking two value for one point first value is the x, x axis and second value is y axis and you can give unlimited points like this as many as you want so if you understand uh, i'm not gonna waste your time i'm gonna copy paste the previous uh, clip path polygon i have created because i don't want to waste your time so if you didn't understand clip path polygon you can follow this or i'll give the code link in the description check the description you'll get the code if you didn't understand yet then comment down below let me know i will try to create another separate video dedicated to clip path polygon so i'm done with my clip path polygon now let's, now let's hit save and let's check it out uh, as you can see it has created a mountain looking like shape in this bottom side but if you compare this with the original art you can see the huge difference this original is kind of uh, like more flat than this or this this one so to make this uh, all we have to do is we are gonna set the top of this mountain class top to 16% and left to 1% now if I hit save and let's check it out it's looking like the original one but but the fact is this scroll bar are not looking good so to remove these scroll bars we have to set the base you can see this base class we have to set its uh, overflow to hidden so as you can see this scroll bars are gone now so next thing we have to create those uh, kind of tree looking things so next thing we have to create this tree looking things in the background so to make those we have to go to our html file and in this html file we have to create a div inside this base div we are going to create another div and we are going to give it a class called tree container and inside this tree container we have to create another div which is called let's say give it a class called trees and inside this tree inside this div we are going to create another div and let's say let's set the class name of this for tree leaf let's say tree and i'm just gonna duplicate it multiple times and i'm gonna change the class name to let's say one and two and now let's go back to our css style and inside this css let's grab the tree trees class and this trees class let's set the position to absolute and height is let's say 6 rem and width is 46 percent and let's give it a background color and the background color is this okay so now if i check it out now we can see a uh, we can see this kind of rectangular kind of shape in this top so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some circles around this rectangular thing so for that uh, first of all we have to bring these things into the bottom so to bring that rectangular in this into bottom so let's see set the bottom to zero percent left to zero percent and now now if we check it out you can see it's already in the bottom so now all we have to do we have to create a circular kind of thing around this uh, around this rectangular so it will uh, will started to look like something like this so let's see how we'll do this uh, i'm sorry let's change this classes let's change this classes to id i'm not gonna use classes i'm gonna use id let's see id and i'm gonna use id so in here in this css file Let's select the first leaf of this uh, tree leaf. Let's copy this and let's paste here. And in this tree leaf, we have to style this tree leaf as it will look something like circular. So how we do this? To do this, let's first of all set the position to absolute. Sorry, absolute. And height to six rem and width as well six rem. And remember. To make a perfect circle, circle you have to make sure that your height and width is the same so 
in my case this height and width is 6 mm and border radius let's say border radius is 50 percent and top and and now if we hit save and check it out we can see it right we can see the circle to see the circle we have to set the top to 58 percent and left is minus one percent and now let's give it a background color background color the same background color we are going to use is the we have used for this rectangle so we are going to use the same background color now if I hit save and check, now if I hit save and check out, uh, you can see this is in the bottom and I have also increased the, uh, I have increased this bottom to 10, sorry, I have increased this bottom to 10 to show you that where this circle is going to be placed. So this circle is going to be placed bottom of this rectangle. The next we have to do is we have to decrease the opacity to 0.8%. Similarly, we are, I'm going to do the same thing to the others of the tree leaf. You can see if you notice that all those tree leaf, I'm going to do the exact same thing except I'm going to change the top and left position to make them in position, to make them in correct position. And I'm going to change a little bit of height so that it uh, looks kind of different. So, so to do it. So to do this same position absolute, sorry, position absolute and height white and this time I'm gonna set the height to 7 them and width as well 7 them. But this time instead of making a full circle, we're gonna make a half circle. So how we make a half circle, we you have to make a half circle you have to set the border top right radius to 50% and border top left radius to 50 percent so if you do this you will create a half circle and to, and to see this we have to create the background color we have to set the background color the same background color we have used for the rectangle uh, we can you can see this because it's not it's not in the correct position so let's set the position top I'm gonna say top to minus 74 percent and the left is five percent five sorry five percent and similarly the opacity is gonna be 0 0.8 percent 0 0.8 sorry now if you, if you see we have created a half circle like this so for the next leaf we are gonna copy we're gonna duplicate it and for the next slip we are going to duplicate it and I'm, I'm just going to change the height width and I will change the top and left position to make it in right position sorry I have forget to change the class I have to change this class to 2 now if I see you can see the two leaf are in there I'm gonna do the exact same thing for all those for all those leaves are left I'm gonna just I'm just gonna change the size and I'm gonna change the top and left value to position it correctly so I'm just gonna fast forward this process that you don't get bored Okay, so I am done with my uh, lips. Now let's hit save and let's check it out. So as you can see, it has created this looking, this kind of looking shape. We have to set this bottom to minus thirteen percent, minus thirteen percent, and we have to set this opacity to zero point eight percent. So to zero point eight. Sorry. Okay, so now if we hit save and if we uh, now we can notice that it's looking something like this. Uh, 
uh, but something is missing let me check uh, I'm sorry I have uh, put this only 58 it will be minus 58 and now let's check it out and yeah now it's looking good now if you notice that in the origin in the original art uh, we have more trees around this uh, around we have more trees on this right side so we have to put those as well so to put those the right side we have to go back to our in the html file and in this html file select this div this three divs you can see the trees so select this div and simply duplicate it now let's give this name to tree 2 the style of all those things are gonna be similar right the tree is gonna be similar so we don't have to style this trees again so don't change those id so now all you need to do is you have to put this so all you have to put this trees to to the right so let's select the class trees2 and set the position to absolute and height to 6 frame and width is 46 46% 46 and the same background color and top let's say 86% and left is 60% and let's say opacity to 0.4 so now if we save and check it so as you can see we got our trees in this right side but only side is left in this middle side so let's go to back let's go back to our html so let's go back to our html and in here let's create another div called trees let's set the tree to class to trees 3 and inside this div let's set some id called tree leaf 9 and let's duplicate this 3 times 3 10 and 3 11 now let's get back to our style sheet and let's select the uh, trees 3 class and let's position is absolute and height is let's say 4 rem and width is similar 4 rem not 40 4 rem and border radius border radius let's say 50 percent and background color and the similar background color the same one and to the bottom we want to create this in the bottom so let's say bottom minus one percent and left 48 percent 48 percent and let's say opacity to 0 0.4 now if i hit save and let's check it out you can see we got this little tree in here so we can see this little thing in here but we need more uh, let's copy this id tree leaf 9 copy and paste here now set this to position absolute and height is 9 rem width is similar 9 rem and border radius 50% and let's say top is minus 83 sorry minus 83 percent and left is 68 percent and similarly the background color is going to be the same one and opacity is let's say 0 0.8 similarly let's just duplicate this select this one and duplicate it So now if I hit save and let's check it out and as we can see and as you can see we got this in here but it's not looking like this one so to make sure that it looks like this one we have to rotate it a little bit let's say transform rotate minus 30 degree 
minus 30 degree now let's hit save and let's check it out so as you can see it's looking similar to this one but uh, something but something is missing okay let's set this left minus 50 percent now if we check it's looking ex exactly like this one so this is done but we don't need this last dip you can remove this one so the next thing we have to create this beautiful moon okay you can see here so to create this moon let's go back to our html file and in this html file uh, outside of this tree div you can see this tree container outside of this tree container you have to create another div let's give this name to moon container and this moon container we have to create a div and let's give the name to moon circle moon circle and you can duplicate this multiple times because we need multiple circles so let's rename these classes to moon circle 2 moon circle 3 moon circle 4 and moon circle 5 ok so now let's get back to our css and in the css we have to take the moon container class moon container class and set this position to absolute and height is 100% and width is 100% as well and then we have to take the first uh, child first child of this team is moon circle let's select this moon circle and let's say position is absolute sorry absolute and width is 7 ram and let's say height is 7 ram as well you have to set the border radius is 50% 50% sorry and, and the background color is gonna be this one if you check it out now you can see a moon in this in this corner uh, top right top left corner but first of all let's keep this in center so to keep this in center in the moon container select the display to flex and justify content center and align item to center and now if we hit save this moon is gonna be in center so let's create the second circle around this first circle so to, in terms of create a second circle let's see, select the moon circle class 2 moon circle 2 class and position is absolute and with this 8 rem height is a, as usual the same as height and the height is as usual same as width and border radius 50% background color is gonna be maybe this one and that's it let's check it out so as you can see this is overlapping the background deep so to avoid this to avoid this problem let's see this z index to 10 and this moon circle to z index to 9 to keep this circle in the back so basically what the z index does is just bring some object into front and brings back some object to the back so if the z index value is bigger that means that object in the front and if the z index value is the less then that means that object is in the back so similarly what we did that we set the moon circle z index to the 10 and the moon circle 2 to 9 so that means this 10 is bigger than this 9 so this is gonna be in the front and this is gonna be in the back and third we have to select this moon container circle 3 and again you have to just copy and paste things but this one is little bit different so let's say the width is 9 rem 9 rem and height as well 9 rem and border radius border radius 50% uh, 
and background color is most probably this one yeah this one and let's set the z index to 8 because we want to keep this in the back now if we hit save you can notice this goes into the back but the color is similar so that's the reason it's not showing up so what we can do we can change the blend mode we can change the blend mode of this moon circle 3 so there is a property uh, in css called mix blend mode and that property allows you to uh, apply different kind of blend modes in css so to apply blend mode we have to take the property called mix blend mode and you have to set the name the twist blend mode you want to use so what blend mode we want to use in this case is the soft light so i have set this blend mode called soft light and now if you check you can see this uh, it's just creating a separation uh, between this second layer and the third layer so next thing we have to do is the uh, fourth moon layer for moon circle four and the same thing we're gonna do in here as well let's copy this copy and paste but we're gonna change the size to 12 frame the height and width is 12 frame and we're gonna change the color in here we're gonna change the color the color is gonna be this one and z index to 7 and the, in here this blend mode is gonna be color dodge so blend mode is color dodge so now if you see you can see this big circle behind this moon okay so similarly i'm going to i'm going to do the same thing with moon circle 5 so let's set to 5 and color is absolute and I'm going to set this to 14.8 14 14 RAM and everything else is quite similar and I have to change the color the color is this one I have to change this ok and the J index is going to be 6 and color draws as blend mode is ok now if you check you can see another layer behind this but it's not looking that good so to make sure it looks more good we have to add some blower to make to to apply blower in CSS you have a property called filter and inside this filter you have a function called blower so I'm gonna use 4 pixel not much 4 pixel of blower and I'm gonna set the opacity of this to 0 0.6 0.6 now if I hit save you can see it's looking more better but this 4 is not looking that good as well so to make this uh, fourth layer uh, to look more good we have to add uh, more blower in this fourth layer as you can see in this fourth layer we have to add similar filter called blower and I'm gonna add 3 pixel and we have to bring down the opacity to 50% so as you can see it's looking more good it's looking more beautiful as we done with the moon we have to set the position of this moon we don't want this moon in this center of this uh, art right as you can see in the original art it's not in the center but it's kind of in top left so to do that we have to uh, we have to come in this moon container and in here we have to select the top to minus 30 percent and left is minus 30 minus 30 percent so if i hit save and let's check out and as you can see it's, it's on the top left okay so next thing we have to create is sunlight let's go back to our html file and in this html file you have to create one more div called let's say sunrise container and inside the sunrise div container we need two div one is let's say class sunday one and second one is sunday two now if we have to style it in the sunrise 
to style the sunrise we have to uh, take the sunrise container plus and position is relative and with this 100% height as well 100% you have to set the top to minus 100% and left is 0 let's set the display to flex and align item center and let's set the z index to 1 so now let us now let's style the sound 1 sound 1 let's set the position position to absolute and width is 45 rem height is 24 rem now there's a border radius 50 percent so to create an oval shape we have to uh, set we have to create a rectangle and set the border radius to 50 percent so that's what i did and the next thing we have to set the background and in this background we're going to set a radial gradient and this radial gradient is going to be from color to transparent so to make a color to transparent gradient we have to take rgb value and in this rgb value if you notice the i have given a red value green value and a blue value but the last one is the alpha value so this alpha determine that how much transparency you want in this color I don't want any transparency so I'm gonna set it to the 1 so this transparency goes from 1 to the 0 so 0 is uh, that's mean it's completely transparent and 5 0 0.5 means it's 50 percent transparent so I'm gonna set 1 because I don't want any transparent in this color and I'm gonna set this to 8 percent and the similarly second thing is gonna be uh, the second color and I want this to be transparent so that's why I set this value to 0% and this color is gonna be 70 uh, 57% so if I hit save and if I check it uh, okay we can see nothing but uh, we have to set the top position top position is to 75 73% sorry 73% and let's say left is minus 7% now if i save so you can see this in this top but we want this into the bottom so that's for that i have to set this top to zero percent if i hit it zero percent you can see in this bottom you can see this we have to set the z index of this tree tree this tree so you can see we have to set the z index to 39 so now if i hit save as you can see this goes to the back and I want to rotate this uh, a little bit so let's say transform transform rotate uh, let's say I want to rotate it minus 10 degree and let's set this blend mode mix blend mode to difference now if I check out you can see this it's looking like this so we're gonna do the quite similar thing with the ray 2. So I'm just gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna set the left to let's say 20% and I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna change the color. Let's say the first color is this and the second color is this one. Okay, so that's all I did is I just changed the color and now let's hit save and let's check it out. I didn't change the class name. Now if we check, you can see those two, but we have to again change the Z index. But first of all, let bring down the opacity a little bit. Opacity let's say 0.9. And we have to change the opacity of tree 2. Uh, sorry, tree 3. Uh, this one, tree 3. Let's set the Z index to 37. And now let's check it out. As you can see, 
and we have to set the z index of mountain as well let's go to the top and let's set this z index to 40 it's gonna be on the top obviously and now let's set the z index of 3 2 to z index 38 so next let's put the wolf image in the html file and let's set the class to wolf and inside this div let's take the image tag and the source is image and wolf.png and let's hit alt wolf image let's say now let's get back to the CSS so first of all let's select the wolf and position is absolute and width is gonna be 100% and height is gonna be auto and let's say top is 50% and left is 60 <coughs> sorry 68% and let's give the z index to 39 and that's it now let's check it out uh, okay it's appeared here but it's quite big so we have to bring down the size of this image so let's say wolf and image tag and let's select the width to candle and let's say height to auto now if you save and check it you can see our wolf is in position now the only thing is left is this star and this shooting star so these two things are left at this moment and to make stars we have to create another div let's say class called star container star container and inside this star container we have to create two divs one div is and one is bright star and the second div is let's say last name is far star and inside this bright star we have to create we have to create more divs for stars so let's say class is star individual in the visual and let's set an id id is equal to star random because i'm gonna put those things in randomly so let's say star random and now let's just duplicate this multiple times and now let's rename those things so i guess 11 is more than enough now let's remove this last two uh, now let's select here the star container and let's set the position to absolute and with is 100% height is as well 100% and top let's say 0% and left as well 0% and to make them in the center let's say display flex justify content center and align item center style the individual stars so to do this let's set the star individual star individual and this style this position is gonna be absolute and width is gonna be 0.4 rem height as well 0.4 rem and there's the border radius is 50 percent we're gonna make tiny stars so let's say background color background color is white and let's set the opacity to 0.9 percent so now if you notice you can see one star but it's not one it's actually uh, 11 stars but it's overlapping each other so that's why you can see one so so the only thing we left is we have to put those things randomly in this screen in this window so you can do this with javascript as well but as i mentioned in title that i'm gonna do it with pure css so i'm not gonna use javascript as well i'm just gonna do it manually with css 
So how I am going to do this? Well, to do this, we have to select individual star with this uh, with this ID name. I have set star random. So select this ID and now let's put it in here. Now all you have to do is you have to set the top position and left position and I'm gonna do it totally randomly. So if I save and you can see we can we got another star in this top left corner. So I'm just gonna repeat this same step. I'm just gonna change the top and left position randomly. So I'm just gonna I'm go I'm just gonna fast forward this process that you guys don't get bored. Uh, so guys I have done it as you can see I just set those things as I said top and left value randomly so as you can see those stars are placed randomly in this canvas but we need the far stars to make this uh, scene more beautiful so to make this far star we have to go back to our HTML in this far star div you have to create the same thing we have to eat div you have to create a div and i'm gonna give the class name star individual because i want the same styling in this as well and i'm gonna set another class called star blend because i want to set a blend mode um, uh, that's why i'm taking this class name and let's select id now let's say far star and you have to just duplicate this multiple times and change the id name to two okay so now let's select the star blend class this class let's select this and now in here you have to do is just select the blend mode let's say mix blend mode and we're gonna set the blend mode to overlay we have to change the position as well so i'm gonna do the exact same thing i did with this random star random so i'm just gonna position them randomly so far i'm just gonna grab the id star one and i'm just gonna set those to top left five percent and left five percent as well so if you see you can see another star in here so i'm gonna repeat the same process again again so i'm just gonna fast forward this so you don't you guys don't need to board okay so as you can see we have got our fire star as well so only thing we left is our shooting star so how to create this uh, this shooting star kind of thing so to create this way again we have to go to our HTML file and after this star container we have to create another div let's say set the class to shooting star okay let's say its class is shooting star and let's get back to our CSS and to create shooting star first of all we have to grab the class name shooting star and we have to set height to 0.7 rem and a width called 18 rem and let's set the position to absolute and let's drop is 25% from top and from the left from the left let's say 62% now we have to give this star a gradient color so let's say background liner gradient and let's say I'm gonna rotate this liner gradient color to 36 degree and let's say the first color is gonna be white and second color is gonna be transparent so this is the color and now let's save it and check it so as you can see it's kind of looking like shooting star but not exactly the shooting star uh, we have to set some uh, border radius let's say border top left so we are going to set the top left radius to uh, 3 rem 
and when we're gonna set border top right to three rem as well and we're gonna set the border bottom bottom right bottom right radius to 182 percent and now let's set the border top top right radius to 182 percent as well so now if you check it out uh, okay i did something wrong maybe uh, okay guys this will be bottom now if you check it out you, you can notice that this is uh, looking like kind of a shooting star but we have to rotate it to maybe let's say transform so to rotate it let's say transform rotate minus 23 degree you have to add blend mode so we're gonna add mix blend mode mix blend mode we're gonna add overlay so let's check it out now as you can see it's looking exactly like this one so our art is totally complete but uh, if you look the original one i have add some animation to this if you don't want to add animation you can uh, close this video right now but if you want to uh, give some little bit more beauty into this art you can add this animation as well so let's see how we can add these animations so first of all let add animation for this shooting star so add keyframes let's give it a name called shooting star animation and now i'm gonna do is from top minus 10 percent to left 110 percent let's let's say two top 90 percent and left is minus 20 percent now add this now let's add this animation to our shooting star so animation let's say the name let's the copy copy the name and let's paste it here and the animation duration is four second and the iteration time will be infinite and the type will be easy now that's it so as you can see is and this animation is applied so now you can comment out this top left from this shooting star class and now let's add animation for the stars so for this we have to add animation let's say keyframe and let's give it a name called star animation and this star animation from we have to uh, from where we want to start we want to start from opacity to one and two and where we want to stop we want to stop to opacity 0 0.5 now we have to we have to add this animation in this bright star only okay in this bright star so let's take this class name bright star and let's say animation and the name is the star animation and duration is two second and iteration is infinite and easy now the type of animation so now if you check out now if you closely look at this stars it's blinking right now so now let's add the third animation for our moon so after this moon circle 5 moon animation and let's say zero person now when this uh, animation is at zero person and let's say zero person means when this animation is at zero person what we, we are going to do is we are going to we're gonna blow out this to one pixel we're gonna blow out this to one pixel and the opacity will bring down to 0 0.6 and when this animation is at 20 percent we're gonna increase the blower filter to two pop two pixel and we're gonna decrease the opacity to 0 0.5 and when this animation has uh, 50 percent 
we're going to increase the flower to 4 pixel and we'll decrease the opacity sorry we'll decrease the opacity to 0 0.3 and when the animation is at 75 percent we're going to add a filter flower filter to again 2 pixel and the opacity is going to be 0 0.5 and when it is it is it's at 100 percent what we are going to do we're going to uh, filter blower we're going to increase the blower to 4 pixel and the opacity will be again to 6 percent to 0 0.6 now we can remove this blower filter uh, from our moon circle 5 and we can remove this opacity as well so now let's add this animation to our moon circle 5 let's say animation and the name is moon animation and the iteration time and the time and the animation time is going to be 3 seconds and iteration is going to be infinite and easy and out is the animation type so now if you check it out no it's not working correctly maybe i did something wrong okay guys so now it's working perfectly as you can see this moon animation the star animation the shooting star and everything is working fine and so guys that is it for today and thank you so much for watching this video and i'll put the link of this code in the description you can find it there and thank you so much bye bye tata